Hi, I'm Jim with Root Pouch. I wanted to show you a new fabric that we've developed at Root Pouch Company. And again, when I say we developed, you know, to the best of my knowledge, there are no other fabric companies, fabric pots or any, any fabric container companies on planet Earth other than Root Pouch that make their own fabrics. Everyone buys their fabrics or has it made by geotextile companies and sent to them. We, and I believe we alone, are the only company on planet Earth, again, that actually makes their own fabric from scratch. All the raw materials, all the PET, the plastic water bottles melted, everything we do ourselves. That gives us the unique ability to be the leader in technology for this process because at the point where we're mixing the PET itself, we can, we can blend it with natural fibers. No other company can do that, to the best of my knowledge at least. When I say that, what happens is if we make a fabric that is that we are mixing in a natural fiber with it rather than a straight PET, you suddenly have something that resembles clothing. We can make it very dense, so it has very strong. We can make it so that it can be in pots where we want more thermal um, abilities to keep plants warmer, cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. That we can make it as, as soft or as thick as we want. If it's like this, very soft, it can be pliable to go around to simulate a B and B. If we make it a little bit more brittle or or or, or uh, more rigid, then it stands erect, stands straight up like a normal pot. But we have full control over all these things. Sort of like a golfer doesn't just have a driver; he has a lot of clubs so that he can play the best game, whatever the conditions are for him. In a case like this, we've noticed over the years that. B&B is, is a great tool. It's inexpensive, it's easy to use. They, you wrap a ball when you, you harvest it in the spring or, 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 or fall. The only downside of them is there's really no real protection. This is just holding the dirt in place. There's no real protection to the roots. The roots are right to the tip of this thing because they've been, they've been severed when it was brought out of the earth. If we put a root pouch on it, it acts as, as a membrane. It's not only protecting the roots, but it's giving it moisture. This hold does not hold moisture, nor does any of the other geotextiles. Just like we have developed an in-ground growing container that has a natural fiber blend that we developed for J. Frank Smith Company. We did that for their in-ground growing. Their above-ground growing is our Boxer Brown line, which is more like a lot of the geotextiles are very rigid, very strong. But we have the lines like these and like the ones for J. Frank that are designed for in-ground. They absorb water, they hold water, so the roots have something to draw from. An example is when you put water on burlap, it basically beads right off, it comes right off. On a root pouch, it's actually a fabric. So as an example, this is a true example. We take water with a piece of each, let the water come off, both things exactly identical, and then you squeeze this and see how much water you retained. Squeeze the root pouch, see how much water you retained. It's dramatic. It's a dramatic difference. This again on the plant is not only protecting that those roots, if for any reason this does not sell in the time period you had planned it, if you dug it in the spring and you get it going into summer and it still hasn't sold, you don't have to worry about mulching all around this, trying to protect those roots from the sun. Leave it like it is. It's a, you've just created a membrane around it. Unlike these that have to go back in the ground or put sawdust on them or something, then when winter comes, what do you do with this? You plant it back in the ground. And then next spring, when you want to reharvest it, you've got roots breaking through. This one, just like it is. Just leave it like it is. Set it in. You can put it in the heel yard, but it's not necessary. Just leave it like it is. Put them can tight or ball tight and water them and hold them until the following year. This is 150 grams per square meter. It is very porous. It's very protective of the plant. I mean, we're really proud of this. And because of the texture and we're doing it, the, the density, we're doing everything ourselves, price competitive to the burlap. Thank you.